The following is an excerpt from the novel Promo Cowboy by Barry Fitzsimmons, read by the author. Chapter 10. Later it is now, and I walk out that admixture saloon, feeling all empty inside and full at the same time. On the avenue, I'm surrounded by the chrome and steel of 50 or more Harleys and Indians and other chopped out two-wheel machines that weren't here when I first showed up. Them bikes are parked perpendicular-like in a neat row that stretches almost the whole block, with the 9th Avenue traffic tearing south in the background. Funny how I still got that Jackson, too, on account of that lovely barmaid wouldn't take it, only she kept them rocks coming, one after another, not to mention her soft-edged glances. Would have tried to talk with that woman, only every time she come my way with a fresh one, I fumbled that ball. Of course, I left that 20 right on the bar, of a mind never to touch it again, only she wouldn't touch it neither, till she finally reached for my shirt pocket and stuffed it inside, saying, keep this for next time, okay? Then she was gone. Before I knowed it, some bear-shaped bearded fellas back there in a tight shirt without no sleeves, I guess to show off all them tattoos on his arms. He come up asking if I'm staying for the party, and I looked round that place and seen how it had been taken over by men, only a different kind of men, most of them had black cowhide covering parts of their body where you don't often see it, plus a lot of shaved heads and shaved chests and dog collars, dog chains too, and metal studs through their ears and noses and a whole lot else. There's two sorts of men that make cowboy get, well, nervous. First is the kind who'd rather listen to show tunes than old Hank Williams, and the second are commonly referred to as bikers. Now, lots of folks might think how cowboys and bikers are cut from the same, and maybe they're onto something. Only, maybe it's like all them bikers are the collective alter ego of all us cowboys, since cowboys don't generally ride motorcycles per se, but horses. And let's all remember how a horse is a living thing, with loving eyes and a soul to boot. Whereas your garden variety motorcycles made chiefly from metal parts that are covered in grease and hot enough to scorch the flesh. In fact, the safest thing to touch on a motorcycle is the seat, and it's often made a horse hide. Anyhow, what I seen after midnight at that admixture saloon was a lot of men who looked set to ride off on a chrome stallion, and once they got to their destination, they'd be popping Miss Saigon on the 8-track. Where's my angel behind that bar, I said to that barkeep. He shook his head and eyeballed me good. You mean Cassie? Cassie be gone, partner. And right then, them lights come down and the music come up. Old time disco, which this cowboy didn't never take a shine to. One of them mirror balls started projecting little starry points in a moving circle all around the room, making yours truly feel sort of dizzy, top of being nervous. Cassie it is, I say with a question mark. Cassie James, she owns the place. Aight, Cassie gonna be back tomorrow? Had to yell it. Sure don't like raising my voice. Guess that barkeep don't like raising his voice neither. He shook his head and said something back. Too soft for the music. Might have been how Cassie comes and goes on her own whim. Plus some other words I couldn't make out on account of that darn KC and his sunshine band. That barkeep walked off and all them bikers around me sort of closed in and one of them in a black cowhide nurse cap sort of rubbed me on the shoulder and I knew right away what he was after my dress hat. I held tight to the brim and made a beeline for that door, bumping two or three fellas aside on account of they didn't get out of the way quick enough. Ain't sure how it goes for other fellas on a given Monday night in New York. Only that's how it goes for old cowboy. Meet a bewitching female and let her under the skin. And just like that she pulls the needle. Only this one don't take nothing from me. She's the giver. And what a blessing that is.